preparations underway in Lebanon for the funeral of Wissam al-Hassan, who was killed by a car bomb in Beirut on Friday. Huge crowds are expected. Uh, let's hear now from James Dentelow, a writer on Middle East security at uh, King's College in, in London. James, uh, the opposition uh, has called for this uh, uh, mass attendance to protest at uh, what it describes as Syria's interference or meddling in Lebanon. Uh, how premature is it to say that this attack was, was linked uh, to Syria uh, or to events in Syria? Well, this is the latest in a long line of attacks against anti-Syrian figures within Lebanon. So there's no surprise that the fingers are being pointed in Damascus's direction. And yet again, we find ourselves with the headline, Lebanon on the edge. It's an all too frequent way of understanding a country and the fears around slipping back into civil war. And when your head of internal security is assassinated, clearly you have a internal security issue. Uh, but Lebanon at the same time is a very uh, durable and robust country and has shown an, ab an ability to withstand these assassinations. And I think today, that funeral, uh, you'll have the army trying to sort of separate potential flashpoints in areas around the country. Uh, and I think we should look to Tripoli in particular, a city that's had uh, numerous outbreaks of violence between uh, Lebanese Alawites and Lebanese Sunni across the uh, Syria street, the aptly named road in the city. So I think that will be perhaps the most uh, challenging flashpoint for the army to deal with. Uh, now, Hezbollah uh, have uh, denied having a hand in the, in the attack that the Shia community in Lebanon, though, feels threatened. So what, what can be done uh, at this stage to, to quell the, the growing anger and to uh, the impulse also to, to, to blame political rivals? Well, I think, I mean, Hezbollah is still the most powerful force in the country, so uh, I think any protests today would be very careful about taking them on, especially in Beirut. Uh, what can be done? Well, I think ultimately you're looking towards Lebanon's system of political consensus to deal with this. You'd think in a longer term way what needs to be done is people who are uh, organizing or carrying out these attacks need to be prosecuted. Yet Lebanon never finds anyone guilty of assassination. We never know who did it. We kind of point the fingers. But ultimately this person was investigating, Hassan was investigating the Hariri car bombing of 2005. So it's some irony that he was killed in a car bombing himself. There doesn't seem to be any form of justice in the country, rather a political consensus that allows the country to keep going without descending into civil war. We saw car bombs in Damascus today. Uh, obviously, Lebanese would be very wary of turning their country into uh, Syria and turning Beirut into another Aleppo. So I think what you're hoping is that cooler heads will prevail in terms of the political elites and that today's funeral will pass off without major outbreaks of violence. All right, so to, just briefly, you, you, you say that this is more or less business as usual in, in, in Lebanon. Uh, with this uh, this rather chaotic patchwork quilt of, uh, uh, of politics, uh, and that despite the mass protest here, well, it's unlikely to, to, that, it, that events in Syria will spill over into Lebanon? Well, I mean, events in Syria are spilling over, whether you talk about the refugee numbers or these assassinations and uh, other people who are anti-Syrian being killed. And I think there's the, the fear that uh, what Syria's role in Lebanon will go as, as the state continues to disintegrate in Syria. Uh, but ultimately, I think the Lebanese have sort of, almost there's been a sort of neutrality of international players in Lebanon. It hasn't gone the same way people predicted. And perhaps the Syrians themselves don't want chaos in Lebanon for their own reasons too. So I think that this will be a, a great test of Lebanon, the durability of certainly the security forces in the face of whatever po protests emerge today. But I think even the opposition, even Saad Hariri himself, will be very wary about directly taking on Hezbollah uh, as a result of this. James, good to talk to you. Many thanks indeed for being with us. James Denslow from uh, King's College, London.